Howdy folks, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I uh, want to talk about two things, but it turned into three things. Uh, it's an update on the economic changes in, in, in World of Warships. So I want to get into something that's a, a bit of free money. In my case, it's over 650 million credits for free. And of course, some other credits based on modules. And then a bonus that I found just by accident that I haven't seen anybody out there talk about yet. So I thought, hey, you know what? I discovered it. It was by chance, so I want to tell you about it. So... Sorry, my Pan-Asian uh, line here. I just finished resetting it for 20,000 more uh, Research Bureau points. I want to buy some ships. So if you go up to your name up here, go to Inventory. This is where you can clean house and get the bonus. First and foremost, Camouflage. In fact, you know it's Camos. Uh, they're useless. So I just sold two batches before this that netted me 150 million credits. Uh, I just uh, dropped a bit down as I reset my uh, Pan-Asian line. So I spent the entire, I don't know, 30 minutes here deleting all of them. Camels have no value anymore. They're, there's no economic value into it. There's no 3%. Uh, detectability is no 4%. Shell dispersion, etc., etc. That's all gone. So if you want to put camels on your boat because you like that, great for me. I'm going naked. So uh, what was that movie from uh, with Will Ferrell? We're going streaking. So yeah, I, I got rid of all my camels. That netted me uh, a total of about $650 million in total by the time I was done. So I was pretty happy with that. And I did spend some more between this, uh, of doing this. There's also another thing I want to show you that that's not just based on camos. And again, if you want to keep the camos, by all means, I did keep my uh, Canadian camos, as you're going to see here at the end, because to me that, uh, that meant a lot to me. And here we go. See, there's the last set of camos. I, uh, I kept a Canadian candidate once. I'm a Canuck, so I want to keep that because HMCS Huron's coming out. And I like the Canadian Camel. So keep what you want, but, you know, like I said, no economic value. The next one is to go up to modules. By selling your modules here, these are the basic modules you get after you research a boat and then you upgrade. You're never going to preferably downgrade for the most part. So this is just money sitting there. It's free money. So at the end of the day, just delete it all. And here's the bonus I found by accident. It's called the Bonus Exchange. I just kind of stumbled into this. I'm like, wait a minute. This is where you can effectively downgrade credits, ships XP, commander XP, and free XP. You can see I've got 462, and then I've got 160. You can go from 353 to 40% at 1,874, these little flags or tokens. And then same thing, I've got 600 plus XP. I can go down to 9,400 at 300%. The reason why I do this is we get to the really high ones, like for instance, the free XP at 7,200. Yeah, that, that's, that's not very much. You could lose a ship battle and hopefully have a good one, but no. But if I downgrade that, I get a boatload of credits, which is fantastic, and I get more of these benefits. So I'm actually exploring into this, and I'm actually changing it. So at the end of the day, I think this is kind of fantastic. I think you really can really use these economics. I hope this is something that you guys appreciate and use because I just stumbled on it, and I've uh, decided to start using it and creating more of these so I can get more bonuses for what's specific what I want. I don't need free XP. And I don't need things like Commander XP because I'm sitting on 22 million XP right now, even after resetting my line. So I hope that was helpful, helpful to you guys. Please leave a comment down below, and I always appreciate it because it's important to me. I like to know your feedback, what's going on. But always, stay safe, take care, and I wish you all the best. Bye for now.